Okay, we're back with the uh, mower here, the um, offset flail mower. And we got to take it out of park mode, so we got to remember to do that. But we're here at a friend's property. We're going to mow this. As you can see, it's got some angle to it. Notice the beautiful view of the bay. It's a beautiful piece of property. We're going to mow this today, see how this thing does. Um, it slopes off into the fence up over there, so that's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Absolutely gorgeous view of the bay this morning. It is just a perfect day for mowing. the bad spot. You can see it's quite a slope. And you can see that it's quite a hole there. But we got past it. Next challenge is around this pole down here. We'll see how it does.
Well, we're getting a little further. Does have a little bit of trouble trying to get some of this tall stuff, but I think that's just the way flail mowers are. But it's coming along. We still got to come and get some of the spots we missed. We did figure it out that coming down across this stuff, if we extend it, the mower all the way out, and don't run over the grass we're going to cut, it tends to work better. It doesn't knock it down as much. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Here's ideal height for this mower. about how far that thing extends. Which is pretty good.
So I've had this mower now for a year. You can check out my other video I did when I did the un uncrating and first trying it. And uh, if you got any comments about questions about how I set up the hydraulics for this, you can see that big valve on the back. That's Summit Hydraulics. Uh, put some comments. Try to answer any questions. That was a thousand dollars to get that three valve unit, which primarily I got so I could hook up the grapple on the front. Which I'm actually thinking about mounting on the other side because it does interfere with, with trying to get on the backhoe on this tractor. And once again, there's that view. So those of you who are interested, that out there is, let's see, I guess that would be Samish Bay, with Samish Island on the low ground, and probably Orcas Island behind. Off over here is Hat Island, that little round Domish Island and Anacortes beyond it. So if you were gonna, they make this model where it doesn't extend, it isn't a offset or a hydraulic offset. And I guess, I guess if you're gonna do a field, you could, get by with that but the offset is sure nice I don't know if a tractor this size could handle any wider a mower that seems to be the, the just the right width for this size tractor it does get bogged down on occasion when the grass is really thick and it's got a lot of cut up grass underneath but uh, It's, it seems to do okay with this size tractor. This is a 1025R. Smallest John Deere subcompact you can get. Obviously a, a 3 Series. A 3 Series would handle this mower way better. You could probably get a little wider one too. But that's the tractor I got. So. And with that, we're done. Now he just needs to go back over and get some of the spots that we kind of missed. But that's what it looks like. slope. It was pretty tough, but I didn't slide off there at all. Being able to extend it over really helped. So he's just going through now and getting piece, the bits we missed. Give you one more closing shot of the view. All right, well, he's cleaning up. I'm gonna go over here to where that steep part is. so you guys can see just how much of a perfecting the world is still there. So, we're perfecting. With 
that offset, without that offset, I would have to come clear down in here with my back wheels into this area. With that offset mower, I was able to stay up here, extend the mower down, and creep along in here and get that mowed. I think that that's what makes that mower nice. This is the first time I've mowed this field. So I was a little nervous about trying to trying to do this for the first time. But that 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 mower handled just fine now. Keep in mind I've got I've got six 40 pound weights on the front. front plus the weight of the loader to counterbalance a, the implements like 600 pounds I've got wheel weights on the back wheels and I've got the tires filled and that seems to be enough ballast for most jobs in this track I have had no problems with it being front end heavy and in this case with the mower back end heavy. I'll sit here next to the fence post for perspective so you can see the angle here. All right. That should just about do it for this job. So I just want you guys to know that I uh, have not been solicited to review this mower. Um, they did reach out to me. There is a coupon code in the description. They say if you buy one of these, send you some parts and if you buy one I get a little kickback I don't know how much it is but anyway if you're considering getting one I think the price point on this one compared to some of the other brands like the Cummins ones coming out of Italy I know it's Chinese but there you go so anyway don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time and doing uh, doing the final cleanup. So anyway, put your comments in, please. If you got anything? Again, any questions about this? Any questions about the hydraulics? Go ahead and ask a question. Thanks uh, for watching, and we'll see you next time.